You can create multiple columns in a Word document just as seen in newspapers. When you create columns in a Word document, you will fill the first column before jumping to the next. But you can force a text to jump to another column by applying a column break. Hi, I am Casey Kemak. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add columns in a Word document. By default, documents in Microsoft Word have a single column. To add more than one column to a document, there are preset columns you can choose from, including two, three left and right columns. Three creates a three-column document with equal sizes. Two creates a two-column document with equal sizes. The left creates a two-column document with a narrower left-hand side. The right creates a two-column document with a narrower right-hand side. You can create more than three columns by choosing the more columns option and enter the exact number of columns in the dialog box. Moreover, the more columns you add to your document, the less space is available for content. You can add a preset column to your document before you start adding content or after adding content. To add a, con a column after adding content, you will select the section of the document you want to apply columns to. Then choose a column option to be applied. To apply a preset column, follow these steps. Select the paragraph or group of paragraphs you want to add a column to. Go to the Layout or Page Layout tab depending on your version of Microsoft Word. Under Page Setup, select Columns. From the list of preset columns, select a suitable column you want. The column will be automatically applied to your selected sections of your document. To add a custom column to your document, do the following. Select the paragraph or group of paragraphs you want to add a column to. Actually, if you have a section, select this section. Go to the Layout or Page Layout tab, depending on your version of Microsoft Word. Under Page Setup Group, select Columns. From the drop-down list, select column, More Columns. The More Columns dialog box will appear. On the dialog box, enter the number of columns, the width, and the spacing in between columns. If you already have content, under the Apply To, select this section, that is if you have already created a section in your document. When you are done, then click OK for your changes to apply. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to apply columns to a document. I will want to hear from you, basically, your questions and suggestions. Please kindly use the comment box. Thank you for seeing this video. Kindly click on the subscribe button before you leave if you have not done so. Thank you.